Okay, it's a raft foundation. You can see here that it has uh, the 150 hardcore, 150 hardcore, and then 225 mil hardcore. So scale one to ten, I have the sizes there. Okay, so it's roughly about halfway across, and you have your slope starting. On top of that, then you have your four mil binding, sand binding, and then on top of that, we have our reinforced. So that's our steel reinforced concrete foundation that's the wrap foundation now above that we'll have our layer of DPC okay which is in red and that will go all the way across the top always the top no matter what foundation you're doing on top of the concrete base foundation to reinforce Okay, always in red. So that's our radon barrier. Okay, so the next thing we need to look at is our, I will label them here now, our insulation. Our insulation is 100mm insulation that goes under, that goes straight on top of the radon barrier. So 100mm insulation. Okay, and then on top of that we have our 65mm screed. So 65mm screed. So it's a concrete screed. And then our timber floor, so our underlay and our timber floor go on top of that. Now another important part here is the insulation here in the corner. Okay, to, to bridge the thermal layer to stop the heat from escaping out of the house. Or any cold points in the house. We have our insulation, which is 30 mil insulation. Now, that will go alongside the under floor insulation, under the screed, and alongside the screed. So the screed does not touch the wall. Be very careful there, because that will cause a thermal bridge. Okay. And note here then, we also have air block. Okay, so our block we went through dimensions today is 100 mil 225 by 240. So the height is 22.5. And don't forget a uh, half a mil for your or a mil, whatever you can fit in. Keep them consistent going across for your bed of cement that holds the, that binds them together. Okay, so our internal leaf then is 100 mil internal leaf. Okay, so internal block leaf. Then we have our 100mm insulation in the centre as well. Hundred mil insulation. Then we have our 50mm gap, okay, our ventilation gap in here. Okay, 50 mil ventilation gap. Now remember what that was for, if any water gets penetrating through the blocks, through the plaster, through the blocks, come down the inside and it won't penetrate into the house to cause that. So we have ventilation gap for it to come out. Okay, so we're missing a few, a few parts of it still. So we need to put on our internal plaster and our external plaster. So our internal plaster is 12 mil. So it's one point. 2 mil scale one's 10. So 1 mil or 1.5 mil will do just to represent it. And then our external plaster is 
or external render is 1.8 mil. Okay, so 18 mil scale down. So internal plaster or render. is 12 mil and our external render is 18 mil so it's bigger and they're always bigger on the outside than the inside remember that a lot of people aren't sure of where to finish off the plaster on the outside so just bring it all the way down and there's a slight gap on the bottom okay or just bring it all the way down so push yourself Okay, so we're just missing a few labels off it and our t tongue and groove flooring. Okay, so on top of our concrete screed, we have tongue and groove flooring, which is 25 mil thick. Scale 1 to 10 is 2.5. So 1, 2.5. Bring it all the way across. Finish it there. So roughly, it doesn't have to be. Perfect, but keep them all the same. So I'm just going to go with each part of it is 15, 30, 45, 60, sorry, 75, 90, 100, and 5. Okay, so on each one, then just to show the tongue and groove, about a third of the way down, a little lip, just to tr show the groove. So as long as the lines are there, little lip, and you've labelled it, you should get all the marks. Okay, so we have 25 mil T and G tongue and groove flooring. <coughs> okay, so there's a few things missing that are very important. So we need our DPC. Now a lot of people are putting this in the wrong place, so be very, very careful. You always have DPC in line. Okay. In line with the top of the foundation, or just slightly higher. Okay, so we go underneath this block here. We have DPC, and underneath that block there, we have DPC. Okay, so damp proof course. It stops on your, on your moisture rising up, and that's always in blue. Okay, so mark that in blue. DPC. Then we have a skirting in here. It's not really massively important. Put in the skirting, show that it's wood. Okay, so then we have our Right on barriers in red, DPCs in blue, and then we have our wall ties. So our wall ties are very important. So from the top of our foundation, every two blocks, so every two blocks, we put in a wall tie. Okay, so one, two, and that goes through the joint. Here. Okay, and we'll have, there'll be a stopper on the outside that'll hold the insulation, so the insulation doesn't fall out here, touching the wall. Otherwise, it'll create a, bar a gateway or a bridge for the moisture to come through. So all the way across. Okay, up another two blocks. I'll put it in again. Try and make them consistent so they look similar to each other. And then it'll be up another two blocks, one, two, and another one there. So, depending how far you've drawn up, draw them all in. Okay, so wall ties. Okay, they're always in black. Okay, so just start color coding everything that you can think of on it. So, the timber floor, you can light brown it if you really want it to color code it. Okay, any concrete is grayed. Okay, don't forget your reinforced 
concrete raft. Okay, so two two five hardcore. And then we have two one fifty hardcore. Okay, so don't forget that. So that's almost everything labeled. Okay, the sand bind we missed the sand bind, so we make sure that's labeled as well. So on this one it's four mil or 40 mil, sorry, sand binding. Forty mil sand binding. Okay, and people were asking today about the blocks. So if you want to just put a few slabs. Okay, parallel slants, roughly sixty degrees. Now you can do it with the set square T square if you want. Just to show that they are solid blocks. Okay, so we're more or less done there now. The only thing we're missing is the the, the subside level over here. Okay, so we can come up roughly. We'll go up seventy mil, roughly. Bring it across. And bring it down. Okay, so that's just crisscross around the edge and just to show that it is subsoil. Okay, so the muck and the clay. Okay, and you can put it in brown if you really want it. So that's our raft foundation. Okay. So I'll put it up there, I'll center it and let it play for a few minutes. So you can pause it if you're stuck on it, pause it and have a look uh, and to make sure you have no elements missing.